Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to my channel. Eat healthy, get rich, drink good beer. If you don't know me, my name is Taranjit Singh Rai and I am not a financial advisor. These videos are for entertainment purposes only. Apologies, there was no video on the weekend because I was not feeling well. However, because today's project is very time sensitive and I want my followers to benefit from this knowledge. I'm making a video midweek and the project I want to bring to your attention is Minterest. This is a project that I had talked last year as well. However, the community allocation event was postponed. Now it is live. So I think it's an important time to revisit it and tell you exactly what it is. And before I even start, I have not seen any DeFi protocol that is like Minterest. So what is Minterest? Minterest is a capital efficient borrowing and lending protocol that will capture the fees and buy back the Mint token and distribute to the users. <laughs> a lot of mouthful there. But simply speaking, it's just a borrowing and lending protocol. However, unlike most other DeFi protocols where the developers skim off the profits, in this protocol, the fees will be captured and returned to the protocol. The fees will be automatically used to buy the Mint tokens, which is the native token of Mintrest protocol. And those tokens will be distributed among the users. Now you can ask, what is the difference Taranjit then between Aave or Compound? Well, let me tell you, just look at the price action of Aave. The token itself has not benefited from absolutely fantastic performance of the protocol itself. With Mintrest, this is different. It will keep the profits in the protocol. So let's say if someone gets auto liquidated, those profits rather than going to the third parties will be retained in the protocol. I think this technology is absolutely sensational. And this is what will capture the value and keep the value in the protocol. So usually there is no correlation between the token price and how well a protocol has been performing. And then I've given you example of Aave in that context. However, with Minterest revolutionary technology, all the profits will be kept within the system, keeping the value within the system. Minterest is launching in Q1 on Moonbeam. Moonbeam recently won the parachain auctions on Polkadot. Polkadot will be a mothership blockchain and it will carry these parachains. That means Minterest will leverage the security and the scalability of the Polkadot ecosystem. So how can you participate? So the community allocation event is on at the moment. You can participate in that allocation event using the link I will provide in the description. I will earn one NFT lottery ticket and you will earn NFT lottery ticket. And I'll explain the utility of NFTs in a little while later. Honestly, there's no need. You can just go straight to their website, go straight to the telegram. I'll leave the links in the description and you can just fill the forms. All you need is an email address and a compatible wallet, which could be MetaMask. The whitelisting is on. These are time sensitive details, guys. So if you don't want to miss on these time sensitive details, please like, subscribe and hit that bell notification button because YouTube algorithm doesn't like me. I don't make many videos. Best way to stay tuned is to hit that bell notification button. The maximum uh, deposit is 500 USDC, but you can also participate on the LBP event, which is gonna be on 8th of February. If you don't know what LBP is, how do you participate? I happen to have a detailed video on it. Again, I will leave a link in the description what LBP is and how can you participate. Because of the technology of Minterest, the longer you stay in the protocol, the more you will earn. It has partnered with Chainlink. <laughs> Chainlink is everywhere on every blockchain. Everyone needs Chainlink. Chainlink is an oracle that will provide the accurate data to the protocol so that the liquidations, the APYs and everything is exactly right. So you can boost your APYs if you happen to win and earn an NFT. So they have, they happen to have 100 influential blockchain personalities as NFTs. And if you have uh, Satoshi, you will be boosted 50%. If you have lowest tier NFT, that still will give you 20% boost on the APY. I've been making videos on NFTs when no one was actually talking about NFTs on YouTube. I challenge people who have been telling me, oh, you can just right click and save the image. What is the value of NFT? Well, here we go. Try saving this NFT as a JPEG and trying using that as a boost to your APYs. It's not gonna happen, guys. You need a unique signature. And here we go. This is one of many, many utilities of the NFT technology. The NFTs will be earned by participating in the LBP event. The top NFTs will obviously go to Wales. If, if someone is putting millions into this protocol, I think they deserve to get the best NFTs. However, that doesn't mean that the team is not focused on taking care of the retail investors. I'm a retail investor. I don't have too much amount of cash, but the fact is I will still have a lottery ticket to have a chance of winning that NFT. And if you use my link, you'll get one lottery 
electric ticket as well in the description. These, these are really, really nice, uh, cool NFTs, guys. Satoshi Nakamoto is number one. You have Vitalik here. You have CZ here. I, I don't know. I'm loving this. The art is amazing. Depending upon the level of NFT, you will be able to boost your APY for three months to six months. But after that, the NFT is for you to keep. So it's a collectible for you, which you can then trade on open markets. You can sell those NFTs. And if someone is selling, you can actually buy those NFTs as well. Let's have a quick look at their team. The first thing is I've been listening to Josh on YouTube. He's a seasoned professional, many, many startups, has been in the tech space for a very, very long time. Been interacting with Ken on Telegram as well. They're all doxxed. You can actually click on their LinkedIn's. You can click on their Twitter. Something I really like, unlike many DeFi protocols where teams are anonymous, participating in the various AMAs, my understanding is there is a team of more than 30 people working on this project. The project already costed $10 million to build. You're not investing in some copy clone from GitHub code in some random DeFi protocol. Obviously, this is not investment advice. Any investment involves inherent risk, which you all should know. And by the way, I am not paid by Mintrest to make this video. So just to make it absolutely clear, of course, if the founders want to gift something, they have my wallet address. Donations to the channel are always welcome. All right, disclaimer out. Let's go back to the presentation. We have talked about the team. Let's discuss funding and let's see what their partners are. Here is the who's who of various partners. KR1, DFG, very reputable firms. They're not going to invest in any random protocol. Okay, you can go into the details of each and every one of these. I have done that. They are very very reputable funding partners and they will help this project grow on the Moonbeam network. The last point I want to discuss is the threat to this protocol. Obviously DeFi at the moment is wild west. There is no regulation. Governments can really crack the whip on many DeFi protocols. Obviously banks don't like it because all the money is funneled into these DeFi protocols. The total value lock has been growing and growing and growing even though we are in a slightly bearish trend but the total value locked has just been increasing. This tells to the banks they know what's going on that people are getting increasingly educated they don't want to keep the money in the bank i will never ever keep money in the bank the regulatory hammer can come very very strong the second threat is obviously flash loan attacks with many DeFi protocols suffer i don't think this is the case with mintrest just because it will leverage the security and the scalability of not only of moonbeam but also of the poker dot anything can happen we, we should never assume things and the security team of the mintrest i'm pretty sure they are on their toes that's all i have to say now i want to know what do you think about mintrest protocol will you participate in the community allocation event let me know if this video has convinced you to do that in the comments below if you like the content subscribe to the channel hit that bell notification button and i'll see you in the next video